Sean McCurry. I'm the owner and head coach of CrossFit Pathway. My name is Chevy Chavaria. I am a photographer, videographer. I run a media company where I bounce from different um, companies to companies, helping small businesses get their name out there. Most importantly, I am a father of four insane young boys. Uh, for me personally, I have exercise ADD. I get really tired of doing the same things over and over and over again. And CrossFit is a new challenge. Every time you can't walk in the door, you never know what the challenge is. So you're not like, oh, Tuesday's leg day or Wednesday's chest or whatever. You're like, whatever's on the board, that's what it is. So you don't know what's coming, and that way there's a new challenge every time you walk in. If you can't tell by the camera, look at me. <laughs> I have no business being inside a gym. I guess I should be in the gym is what I should be saying. Like, gym, me and gyms, there's no... There's no connection. Like, it's the furthest place I want to be. I, I hate working out. I hate being sore. I don't even go bowling because I don't like the way it makes my arm feel the next day. Like, I'm anti that whole shebang. You know what I'm saying? I do the community. I mean, it's like one day you get in, it's the challenge. Once you get over the concept of, like, tackling the new challenges every day and surprising yourself on what you can do, once you can hang out with, like, you have, you have a group of friends that are suffering with you. So it's kind of like bonded through mutual discomfort. So I walked into this CrossFit place, spent a few weeks there just really filming these people, um, just putting themselves through torture, just hating their bodies, just going through. And at the end of every session, they'd have giant smiles on their face. And I was like, that's so weird. <laughs> that's so weird. I'd be like, why are these people so happy about what they just did to themselves? So our purpose of this show is we're going to show the beginning to kind of intermediate portion of the transformation process for Chevy, where he's starting from somebody who was technically the better term is couch to CrossFit. Like he went from being basically untrained to drinking 13 gallons of Dr. Pepper a day. And we're going to work on retraining his lifestyles and showing the process that it's not, it can be done. It's not that it's this huge undertaking. It's just about consistency and following the process. So I'll start kind of sneaking in these circles of conversations and um, one of the first ones I remember, there's three dads sitting around talking and the, the conversation comes up of why they CrossFit. And almost every single one of them said, uh, I CrossFit because I love my kids. They're two years old and I want to run around with them and keep up with them. And in my head I wasn't like, man, I need to CrossFit. In my head I was like, do I hate my kids? Because I do not want to CrossFit at all. First time people, uh, we get a lot of concerns that people have to be fit to get across it, or you need to be, uh, this would be a bunch of super in shape 20 year old kids in here with their shirts off running around and whatnot. And then you take one snapshot of where a community really is and you realize real quickly that's definitely not, I mean there are, don't get me wrong, there are shaped 20 year old kids that are walking around with their shirts off, but that is definitely not the core of our community. It's about regular people getting in and making a change and wanting to get fit. They're, they're making the decision that mediocrity is no longer acceptable. They are sick and tired of being sick and tired. Um, but just listening to their stories uh, with big nudges from my wife about my eating habits and telling me how much I don't love my children because I'm going to die one day from heart disease or whatever. Um, I come from a long line of diabetes, high blood pressure, um, you know, and I actually, I'm on, I'm on medication for blood pressure. And so I hear these types of things, CrossFit, working out, changing your eating habits, just take you off this medicine. And... And it does, it does honestly, at the end of the day, I make a lot of jokes, but it runs through my head when I'm holding these kids or running around with them, like, I'm not gonna be here forever. And so if I can make that, for the, the, the length of time that I'm here, the closest to that forever as I can, I think that's kind of what I'm going for. And that's, that, that's what I'm here for. Um, I spent the last few months kind of filming these, these guys with my media company, this, this community of CrossFitters, and just hearing amazing stories of where I used to be to where I'm at, where I'm at now, from um, just mentally and physically and, and just lives being changed. And that's one thing I am about, changing lives, um, spiritually, emotionally, and now kind of jumping into the whole like uh, physical realm of that. So, if you ask me why am I here, I have no clue, but a lot of that is pushing me here. I'm on this journey. I'm a little nervous because again, I hate everything that CrossFit seems to make you, um, except for the end results. The end results are very intriguing to me. Um, and so I'm going to jump in this. I, got, I trust Sean. I'm hanging out with Sean from Tidal Wave CrossFit. He's going to take me on this journey with some of the other coaches here. They're amazing people. Follow us. Let's check out what happens. By the end of day one, I'm going to hate everybody. Let's go, baby!
we're moving into number one first workout ever from this guy. This is Dylan. He's gonna stretch with you. Gonna stretch me, Dylan? Oh yeah, I'm gonna stretch you. It's got weird. It's real <laughs> quick. What are you thinking? Tell, tell me what you see for in the near future. What's about to happen? It's gonna it's gonna be lots of uncomfortable, lots of weird noises are gonna happen. Weird faces are gonna get made. Mm -hmm. It's gonna be fantastic. I like that. It'll be a good time. Sean, what you got? Give me some give me some footage here. <laughs> Just remember to breathe. No, I will try it if only, I can. It only hurts every single time. Day one, warming up. Check it out. We need more clapping. I'm not excited about this. <laughs> that, that guy. So, so what are we doing? Got. We're gonna do 120 jump ropes. 120 jump ropes. Yeah. 120? Uh, I'll go 50? I'll take you like no. 120 immediately. Straight off the bat. First thing I'm doing 120 jump ropes. Yeah. It's fine. So just just watch me okay. do what I do. Just count this, so I gotta count myself. Yeah. Do I do like that? Yeah, you gotta do it like this. Shut right up! <laughs> that sounds very whirly. Ooh. Like a whirlwind of power. <laughs> can, I, can I just do the regular ones? Yeah, of course you can do the regular ones. Nope. I mean, I, I'm you giving give me? you permission, no. but can you do the regular ones? I don't know, we'll find out. There you go. Uh, yeah, come on, hop, you gotta hop step, hop step. So you hear it at the ground. There it is. Nice. Good job. <laughs> oh, that was not promising. <laughs> Slow and smooth and smooth and fast. Other CrossFit accent. I get on your hamstring, a little bit up past your knee. Like here? Yeah. Put your other leg on top of it. Figure four? Yeah, put some. Put Figure four, left leg lock, Ric Flair. Woo! <laughs> Woo! Eventually, you're gonna switch and get like the a, side of your leg on it. Oh, it's weird. Like a, like a backup dancer. Like a backup dancer. Like magic mic. Hashtag magic mic. Get your legs this is a bad angle for the camera. No, it's hot. No, it's all kinds of that. <laughs> all kinds of Dylan glute in there. Back to the inside again. Get that hip flexor. I thought this long. I don't like this. <laughs> Rolling out your quadricep. <laughs> we did the bottom of the leg. Now, we're going to do... Top of the is this, are you, you Jack, are you messing with me like this is legit? This is a real thing. <laughs> this is legit. I feel kind of like an orca. Or just beached himself. Slide up. <laughs> Alright, get your cameras ready. Here comes your trainer. That's, what, that's my spirit animal. Not orcas, just captain orcas who go crazy and kill trainers. Those are my, that's my spirit animal. <laughs> oh, okay, so the first thing we're going to be doing is taking the lacrosse ball and rolling out our pectoral muscles. What this is going to do is loosen up your chest and your shoulders because all that's connected. Give you a little bit more range of motion. Help you stay pain free during your workout. This is weird. This is real. This is a real thing. You're not just jacking with me. Yeah, that pace means it's working. Does it? As long as it hurts. Yeah. It's more awkward than anything. Like, I feel like I don't know this wall well enough to be this close yeah and like this is a problem all these uh cheeseburger pizza gut right here um getting in the way of the there you go lean into it yeah yeah i feel like maybe kitty g should be playing some kind of i'm, I'm thinking a little more like old school boys and men i like that <laughs> darling i'm just kidding <laughs> that, that, that was a little more all for one no that, that was, was like a, that was boys i can't explain where did we lose our way? You know what I'm saying? I don't. I think it's Boys to Men, the two album. That's like a thousand hits on YouTube. The right album, there. the two album. Is that like Am I doing this right? Was that the all white jumpsuit album? No, nah, that was the one I don't remember, but the CD actually had the Roman 2 on it. Ah! That's not good. Is that what it's supposed to feel like? Yeah. This is oh. what it should have been like the whole time. I don't like that. <laughs> <laughs> Elbows down by your side. That? Yeah. That feels weird. Yeah. That feels like a manly. That's the better way to do it. 
Pinky's out. You want to make sure your pinky stay out. <laughs> there you go. Come on. You got 100 meters left. Let's get it. Remember, you got three left. rounds of this. Don't blow yourself out of the water. Oh, okay. I thought it was just one. <laughs> nope, you got three rounds of this. Yeah, there you go, man. Come on. Get it. Get the more meters. So, scale of one to ten, try to keep it like a six. Intensity. I'm good with a three, bro. I'm good with a three. Like a, like a 16, you mean. Do the basic blues method. Okay, cards in the beginning, cards in the middle, cards in the end. There you go, and how about that one? Push up with your toes, pop out with your heels. Like the plastic bit. <laughs> well, that's not helpful. Hurry up, come on. You got oh, it's time. Let's go. Oh, yeah, your time already started. Let's get it. You're already like 37 minutes in now. Look at that over there changing shoes. You got caught in there. <laughs> I'm here. I don't Down. know what you mean. Down. 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 Pull your shoulders back. Squeeze my finger. There you go. Yeah. Overhead. Pull the match. Good. Yeah. Did I move my legs right? Yeah. We got nine more. Step all concrete related. Let's keep it up. Come on, go. Is that right? Yeah, that's right. Keep it up. Boom. Onto the ranks. All right. Walk it out backwards. So your arms are extended. Good. Right there. All right. Now pick it up to your chest. There you go. that game face. Come on, get it. Yeah. Good job. Good job. Round two, how are we feeling there, Chevy? Yeah. Uh, <laughs> I was good with one round. I'm going to make you a better person. Chevy Smash! Here we go. Good. You got it, man. Good Here we job. Go. You're doing Take great. about 10 deep breaths and then get ready for the air squats. Five, four, three, two, one and go. Look up. There, that's good. Good job, good job. Come on, six. Come on, six? Yeah. <laughs> I'm done. Right. Go ahead. We're all dying. It depends on what uh, what right. condition your corpse shows up in. This will, yeah, be, have, a, have a second funeral. <laughs> I'm okay with it. Hashtag sexy funeral. Yeah. Cheese driven funeral. Last 200. Last go around. Good. You're slow and steady. Yeah, look at them last. I want you to keep this number below 240. There you go. Nice. All right, get those rings. Come on. Ten. Almost done. You can see the finish line. Come on. You got 20 more movements and you're done. Five, four, three, two, one, and hit it. Come on. The five. Pick up a little bit. There you, there go. you go. Awesome. Got six left. Here we go. Good, you got it. Four more. Good. Almost there. Get in the pain cave. Yep, three more. Comfort zone. Come on, get out of it. Three, two, one, hit it. Come on. Good. Last one. Boom. Knock out those air squats. Alright, come on, get those. Being done. Come on, man. 
There you go. You got it. You got it. Let's get those last ten. Two, last one, last one. One and done. There it is. Now you know why everybody lays down. Good job, man. Good heart. Yes, yeah, good at all. Oh, it sucks. Here we are documenting Chevy finishing his first workout. What are the thoughts going through your mind right now, Chevy? Oh, my lord. Come on. My legs suck. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I feel kind of dizzy. <laughs>